Hello everybody, welcome into my little piece of aquaponic paradise today. I'm uh, taking a look at the pH in my main system today and I'm going to do a little uh, preventative maintenance so that I can uh, potentially not have as many issues with the pH and potentially keep my calcium levels up too. A lot of you uh, will be familiar with this technique. I'm going to basically be throwing some eggshells into this. But first off, let's take a look at the pH and then I'll show you how I'm doing it. Oh, see that? Feels good. Nice and warm in here. Mm-hmm. So amazingly, this pH meter seems to have survived the winter. Let's just uh, get it in there and see what it says. It's reading pretty acidic. Doesn't surprise me at all though. It's just spring, right? It's not like the bacteria are going to be there yet or anything. Yeah, okay. Steady six, five, nine, six. All in all, not too bad though. With all the issues that I had last year, I ended up doing quite a bit of research about it and it seems like basically oyster shells and egg shells are one of the easiest ways to kind of um, regulate the pH in your system. So, got a whole bunch of egg shells, washed them off really good, microwaved them for a couple of minutes just to kill off anything that might still be on there. And here we go. You want a strange and awkward moment? Try looking like me going into the dollar store buying a pair of pantyhose. Just see how they look at you. Kind of need them to hold these though. So what do you do? Basically, I'm going to have to put the camera down to do this, but I'm going to stretch the nylon over the top of this, dump it all in, and uh, just tie off the end. Should be pretty simple. Make a little sack of eggshells there. Why am I reminded of Homie the Clown right now? Homie don't play that game. Anyway, so I'm just gonna tie this off. Nice quick knot and it's ready to go. And I figure, what better place to put this ultimately than in the swirl filter? I'll find a way to, maybe a clothespin, pull that in place there. But it seems to me that should be uh, about as good as it gets for the water passing through there and back into the sump tank, back into the plants. Seems like a good place to work on this. Duct tape and clothespins, life's little problem solvers. Well, that seems to clip onto the side quite nicely there. I have to say, um, I was a little concerned about using this recycling bin at first. Got it because the price was right and the volume was right, you know. But it's turned out to be a really, really good idea. I still have to uh, plunge another bulkhead fitting into the side there so I can make the little vacuum hose and clean it out. I haven't forgotten, I am still going to do that. I was just waiting for the weather to warm up, if you recall. So, I don't know, maybe next week, we'll see. So with any luck, as I check the pH over the next few days, it should get a little closer to a more neutral level. And uh, yeah, it should help with the calciums and such in my tank as well. I'm still going to need to find natural ways to be able to add iron and uh, some of those other things, but... Uh, I'm looking into it. There's lots of great stuff being put up here on YouTube by uh, other aquaponic explorers, really. Trying this, that, and the other thing. Willing to uh, pass or fail. Either way, you share the results, right? Anywho, that's about it for today. I will uh, keep you guys updated on how the pH does with the eggshells in there. And uh, otherwise, yeah, thanks for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic day.